Full details in the blog post linked in the description. The blog post will be kept up to date with any new details that appear. 1. Temperature changes affecting internal parts. If you hear clicking, cracking, or popping noises coming from your Samsung TV after you turn it off, there's no need to panic. The reason could be as simple as its internal parts responding to changes in temperature. You see, TVs nowadays are made using various metal and plastic components inside the chassis. While the TV is on, these components heat up and expand to a certain degree. Once you switch off the TV, the temperature begins to drop. As these components start to cool down, they contract back to their original size. The process of shrinking after contracting causes sounds that you hear after you turn off the TV. How to fix noise resulting from changes in the internal temperature of the TV is a normal, natural thing. It's not considered an issue, and as such, you don't need to worry about fixing it. These sounds will happen regardless of the temperature at your house. They're completely harmless and won't interfere with the performance of your Samsung TV. 2. The capacitor is malfunctioning. If your Samsung TV makes noises after you turn it off, one of the causes can be a malfunctioning capacitor. The capacitor on a TV serves as a storage unit for electricity that arrives from the power outlet. It then transfers this electricity to the TV's circuit after making sure it's stable enough to not damage any electrical component. A Samsung TV typically houses multiple capacitors to maintain a smooth and consistent flow of power. Now, if one of these capacitors starts to act up or stops working, the power flow across the TV will be disrupted. This can lead to clicking, popping, or cracking sounds. How to fix? The first thing you should do is let the electronic components reset by unplugging your TV from the power outlet for a minimum of 30 minutes. After that, replug your TV but make sure the outlet is working and offers a consistent flow of electricity. If the noise doesn't stop, you'll need to take things a step further. Fixing or replacing a broken capacitor is a delicate task that you should only approach if you have previous experience dealing with electrical circuits. Otherwise, you may end up ruining other parts. As such, calling in a professional or sending your Samsung TV for repair is probably the best idea in this situation. 3. The power supply is faulty. Another culprit behind your Samsung TV making noises when off can be a faulty power supply. The purpose of a power supply is to transform AC, alternating current, to DC, direct current, before the electricity reaches your TV. This process produces a noise when the TV is on. However, if you hear such noises while it's off, it's a sign of an issue with the power supply that may prevent the TV from working altogether. How to fix? You can try fixing your power supply, but in most cases, buying a new one is the best solution, especially if the TV doesn't turn on after your attempt. Start by unplugging the TV and then removing the cover of the back of the TV to expose the circuit boards. After that, locate the power supply circuit cord and take it out by unscrewing it from its place. Finally, screw the new circuit board in the same spot as the faulty one, place the cover back, replug the TV, turn it on, and then turn it off. There should be no abnormal noise. Try doing a soft reset. Often, a soft reset is all that is needed to solve issues on the Samsung TV. A soft reset does not erase any data. To soft reset a Samsung TV, you simply need to turn the TV off. Then remove the plug from the wall outlet and wait for 60 seconds, then put the plug back in and turn the TV on again. Try a hard reset. A hard reset involves completely resetting the TV to its factory defaults and your data will be erased. To do this, do the following. Turn on the TV and press the home button on the remote. Go to settings, then click general, then click reset. You must then enter a four-digit PIN number, which is 0000 by default. Then click Yes to reset the TV. 
The TV will then turn off once it has finished resetting. You can now turn the TV back on and set it up again. Try taking a look at the comments. I will also keep the blog post linked in the description, updated with any new fixes that appear.